Well, for us here in Eastern North Carolina, it's the threat of fire danger. That's what we've got to worry about for today. We do have red flag warnings in effect from now all the way through until 8 o'clock. And generally, it's most of the, the Carolinas that are under these red flag warnings. Basically, just this means don't do any kind of burning open flame burning today. We saw back earlier this week where the uh, brush fire got uh, out of control and it quickly spread in Carteret County. Well, today it could spread even more with those northwesterly winds 10 to 20 miles an hour. Relative humidity could be as low as 20 to 25 percent. So the ground is already dry. The atmosphere is drying out and you've got those gusty winds. Again, just put it off. The winds will not be nearly as strong tomorrow as what they are right now. And you can see already we're looking at those winds 10 to 15. Some gust already over 20 miles an hour right now, closer to 30. Uh, Hyde County and Pamlico County for us already this afternoon. Strongest winds will be around this morning into the afternoon hours here, and then they will start to decrease as we head overnight tonight. We are going to be seeing those winds go light, and notice those deep inland spots where those winds go light. We could be looking at some mid 40s. And areas there. Temperatures outside right now, looking at 79 in Jacksonville. Same thing in New Bern, 81 in Havelock. Not much in the way other than some high thin cirrus clouds right along the Crystal Coast for us to track. We may see a couple more degrees from where we are right now, but upper 70s and low 80s. That's where we'll top out at for later on today. There's some of those 40s again for the inland areas closer to the 50 degree mark with clear skies and lighter winds overnight tonight. So we've had that front that's passed offshore and a lot of dry air is sweeping in behind this coming from a big high up here across the Great Lakes and western part of the plains. Notice though a lot of action down here in Louisiana, Alabama, Mississippi will eventually start to see some of that moisture creep back towards us here, but that's not until later tomorrow night going into Sunday as that high slides offshore back return flow on the side of it. It gets that high level cloudiness starting to spill in here through the day on Sunday. Then this is going to be our next weather maker. Upper disturbance in the atmosphere kind of working its way out ahead of that main front. That could help touch all some showers and maybe even some thunderstorms in here as we go into next week. And next week is going to be a lot more unsettled. Right now, I think about every other day, Monday, Wednesday and Friday, probably the best chance of showers and storms around with a few scattered around in here possible Tuesday and Thursday.